Good morning from the Camino. Uh, today I actually do go up to the Cruz de Ferro. That's just looking behind me. There's one person back there, I think. I only saw one other person. It's about 9 o'clock. And I think I'm just about the last one getting started. So, um, just there's one person back there that I saw. Maybe a couple of stragglers. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, today's going up to the cross. Get to drop off my little pebble. And um, the weather's pretty nice. It's blue skies and, and it's warm. Um, so, that's kind of the benefit of leaving at 9 o'clock, I guess, <coughs> is that uh, it's a little warmer, you don't need a jacket, and uh, yeah, so it's about six kilometers to the cross, and then I'll just sit and, you know, watch, watch people come and go for a little bit, and then head down to the town on the other side, <coughs> the, my guidebook had it showing 31 kilometers for some reason, sometimes they just put it in the schedule that you're going to go these uh, <laughs> long distances, which are not really necessary. There's a town about, uh, <clears throat> 10 or, uh, let me see, about 20 kilometers on the other side of the mountain. So you go up to the cross and then you come down the other side and there's a town right on the other side. And I think that's a 20 kilometer day, which is good. So I'll probably try to stop there if I can find a place to stay. And, uh, yeah, so today's one of the bigger days. The cross is sort of an emotional day for people. And um, this is the scenery. Looks a lot like Southern California. Shrubs and dirt stuff. And, uh, yep, that's it. We lost uh, two members of our group today. <coughs> um, one of them had... Uh, some uh, foot problems, ankle problems or something, and just had taken buses the last couple of days and decided it's not really worth <coughs> doing that. Didn't seem to be getting any better. So uh, so two of them are connected there. They're going to take off and come finish this another time, maybe. So we're down to three of us and... and uh, yeah, it's just sort of, sort of splitting up the groups. Just sort of do that, you know. Especially towards this point, you start to see people you haven't seen in a couple of weeks. Um, you know, people uh, might take a day off somewhere, and, and then suddenly you see someone you haven't seen since the start, and uh, so that's kind of kind of where it's at. And then uh, other people keep pushing ahead because they're out of time. And they want to get to the finish, so you lose lose your group, maybe. And uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes. But uh, yeah, so today is, I think today is kind of the personal day. At least that's the way it seems like it should be, but everybody does their own thing. But uh, yeah, for uh, people dealing with issues, whatever. They go up to the cross and deal with it, and uh, I don't really have much going on right now. So for me, I'm just going to go there, get over the top of the hill, and down the other side. <clears throat> and we're down to, uh, I don't know, about 10 days or so uh, before the finish. So it's getting close. A couple hundred kilometers left to go. <clears throat> 